So eBay has made another change announcement that happens at the end of the year, and this is going to affect thousands of resellers in a very negative way. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to look at something that eBay just announced a few days ago. Now, this won't affect everybody out there. This is for those who use Shopify and cross-list your items through eBay's app. Now, here is a post from eBay right here, and this is talking about the eBay app. And this is from Connect eBay Support, which is the basic app we're talking about here. Now, they're discontinuing the app that was used by anybody who wanted to directly hook up to eBay from their Shopify store at the last day of the year. So starting January 1st, 2023, the app will be gone. That means that if you used that app to hook up to eBay, the listings you create, say, on Shopify won't be fully valid on eBay from everything that I can see. It also means that if you're using that app to sync your items from Shopify to eBay, that sync will be gone. So you'll either have to do it manually or you'll have to set it up with another third party. Now that may not sound like a whole bunch of work or a big deal, but we started into Shopify and realized it's a huge long drawn out process to migrate tens of thousands of listings to a Shopify and then to set up all the syncs. We've tried most of the applications out there that do that, Cellbrite and some other ones. Now most of those do appear to use some form of eBay's third party app Again, there's no clarification on anything else. This was pretty much buried out there, too. This was not announced majorly across anything, including currently on the Shopify app page for eBay's app. Now, we'll look at a few more as we go through here, but it's also on the message boards as of now. And I know personally people have told me they've received notifications that it's going to be discontinued straight from somewhere at eBay itself. Now, Amazon discontinued theirs not too long ago, if you're unaware of that. I've used the Amazon uh, API from Shopify. have never used the eBay one because it did not offer the options for best offer. And that is a majority of our businesses through best offer. If I can't do best offer, it made no sense to use it. So we've went other routes for this. This will affect, though, as I said, anybody syncing from Shopify. Now, it took us months just to get our data into Shopify from eBay and make sure it was all straight and figure out how to get all the data, like all the condition boxes, sizes, and measure all that stuff to be imported properly. When you import through most of these APIs, if you haven't done it before, not all of the data is available to be brought over. The links don't hook up. There might be a box on eBay that doesn't exist on Shopify. So information can be jumbled together when you import them as well. It won't know where else to put them, so it just dumps it in there. So you may have to go through every one of some of your listings, every single one, one by one, and remove, update, and do many, many aspects to make sure it's correct. I personally know people have taken almost a year to get their Shopify, their personal website, and eBay and Amazon all synced together because of the complexity there has been with a lot of this stuff. It depends, again, on what you're selling, how you're selling it. But either way, the app's gone, so there isn't much you can do. Now, on eBay's message boards, there are conversations on this as well. Now, I've been personally emailed by a lot of people who use this option and who have spent hundreds of hours setting it all up to match their business. Now, all of that time and effort's going to be gone. They're going to lose every bit of time and effort they put in to set that all up because, again, it's going bye-bye. This will further limit people selling on eBay to begin with. The Shopify app was free. Some people may not even assume that it's worth their time or effort if they have to pay for it. So I think in the long run, this is going to be detrimental to eBay. 
As of right now, I would imagine tens of thousands of people are using the eBay app on Shopify, and this will affect whether they go forward or not with their items from Shopify to eBay. There's even comments here on this message board specifically making that comment. They're going to give up eBay and keep their own personal aspect as opposed to trying to deal with eBay because sales are going down and they're frustrated with the promoted listing aspect. Instead of branching out and welcoming more people in, they're going to put a roadblock into people taking their Shopify business to eBay. Sure, you may not want a lot of people bringing their items off eBay to another spot, but it works the other way around. You may have a whole bunch of people who have their own website and want to hook up with eBay through Shopify, and now it's going to be more troublesome and more expensive. Now, as well, they give you some options to use. Inkfrog works okay. It doesn't do everything you want. Said Commerce, same thing. I've tried Sellbrite, same thing. Every one of these has their drawbacks and fees associated with them. It could cost you hundreds of dollars a month if you have to have a third party to sync your items. Again, because some of them bill you by how many you sell, some of them bill you by how many listings overall you have that they're going to have to process and sync. Now, from what I understand and have read in several of these posts, some of the big sites use eBay's app. So if that app is shut down, eBay's app, those other sites that use it may not have access either. So you may not be able to continue until something's worked out with them. Now, here is the eBay app right here, and it's from eBay Inc., as you can see. The troublesome part to me, though, is that they don't announce it on this page that says, hey, we're not going to be offering this going forward. So that's kind of misleading. So anybody going out there right now to go ahead and set it up through the eBay app is going to find out very quickly, almost as soon as they get on, that, hey, it's going to be discontinued. Now, said commerce is one that eBay states in that message there. Now, the way this talks from said commerce, again, I can't say for sure, but the way this looks is that it runs through eBay's app link and they just handle it now from what i see if you click on shopify integration for ebay that's what they're marketing here from the said commerce it just takes you back to the ebay app we'll click on it and you'll see what opens up here it takes us right back to here saying this is how they're going to hook us up but it's not actually an app that's going to be usable because they say itself it's going to be discontinued. Now, this may be some misconception with eBay or they accidentally announced something they didn't plan on doing. Wouldn't be the first time they've done that. But as of now, eBay hasn't contradicted this at all. It is now making waves across the multi-platform community who sells on many platforms because, again, a large number of people use this integration to hook up their items. Now, big Commerce is another one as well. So if you use Big Commerce, the aspect of whether that app's going to be available to you or not is up in the air. Now this again, when you look at the install, looks like it's basically the same thing. You are installing the eBay app from the way it looks. The same process is basically how you hook up eBay to begin with from any of them when you're using the eBay app. So all of this is in question on third parties as to who will or won't be able to hook you up with eBay directly. Now, if you don't use Shopify and you don't use the eBay app anywhere, you have nothing whatsoever to worry about. This doesn't actually affect you. But in this day and age, it's pretty much impossible not to have revenue streams off of eBay. eBay has made it very hard for a lot of people to be able to have a full-fledged income without taking their items as well and cross-listing them somewhere else to have a better chance, better odds of selling them. This just makes that whole process even harder. If you're a small business, it could financially make it not practical to sell on other sites. So that could force you to pick over, say, Poshmark or eBay if you were using, say, Shopify's eBay app there to hook them together. Now, I know in the past eBay has blamed Shopify and Shopify has blamed eBay for issues and glitches and things like that. But everything I can see looks directly as if it's coming from eBay, including some messages that folks that I know receive that, uh, again, appear to me to be an eBay-specific official message. This could have some dire consequences for those of us who sell on multi-platforms, again, depending on how you use it.
Well, there we go. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. the thing. Hair that grows, hair that goes to here, to there, to anywhere you like. Be it good. Here's new velvet. Her hair grows, just like her cousin, beautiful Chrissy. You can make velvet's hair short or make it grow. Hair that grows, hair that goes to here, to there, it grows. Beautiful Chrissy and new velvet. They're ideal.